Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome. I am Lord Spinky Now and today I have for you my first video challenge. So this is the pistol only in the boss room. So I'm going to be using Danger Close with the Death and Taxes, the MR6 Pack-a-Punched. I'm also going to be having the RK5, the Raz Calibar something or another uh, pistol and I'm going to have Deadwire on that because since the buff with Deadwire it is so useful. Now a lot of people are telling me that bows are allowed for some reason with a lot of these weapon only challenges which kind of defeats the whole point of the pistol only challenge so I'm going to avoid using them as much as possible I, you literally use them once in the entire thing I'll let you judge for yourself whether it was acceptable or not there'll be a little poll that comes up as well but yeah th this was actually so much fun to do guys and believe it or not out of all of my easter egg attempts and well successes this is by far the easiest way to do it. it it was so easy as you can see i'm not i'm just walking around in a circle waiting for that orb to appear so i can go in plant my dg twos and yeah throw a monkey keep the skeletons off of you and then just go crazy with your death and taxes and you can look you just kill him first go you don't need to wait around you don't need to charge up your dgs again and you can just go in and grab them now saying i really advise if you want to do this don't pick up those max ammo straight away because the death and taxes although they're really effective they they, I don't, you don't exactly get a lot of ammo in the bullet so just go crazy and as you can see I am loving this with the danger close gobble gum just getting in nice and close so that well I just get every single bullet on those panzers um, as you can see it's taking quite a while to kill them because I am actually on level 31 if you hadn't noticed so um, I am taking my time a little bit with these panzers but yeah this this is pretty much it guys it, this was so easy to do like with that danger close as well it helps with the uh, the blue things the panzers fire those explosive shock charges so what you'll notice on my screen when I get hit by them I don't actually take any blur damage and it doesn't stun me uh, you still see the light effects like the lightning and the splash and everything but you don't see the blurred screen and you don't actually get stunned so I, I'm I only used Danger Close for this one attempt, so I'm guessing that was what Danger Close was doing for me, and it was, it helped me a hell of a lot because without stamina, being able to run away from those flames is pretty key. But yeah, that's it for now. Um, I'm gonna leave you to the video as you watch me do this. Like, it, it's pretty easy. Just taking my time, doing some circles, give my kills on. It's it's pretty easy. Um, as long as you don't get trapped, you should have no problem with this technique. As long as you don't uh, get too close to the panzers, you should have no problem with this technique. It is probably by far the easiest way I find to do it. If you do not manage to kill the uh, keeper in the first go and you do have to charge those DG2s, there is almost no difference than having an RK5 with Blast Furnace or um, <coughs> dead, dead Wire and having a freaking dingo with Dead Wire or Blast Furnace. The only difference is if you get trapped you'll be able to shoot your way out quicker probably. But the whole point of that weapon isn't to shoot your way out of something. The whole point of that weapon is to charge your DG too. So, why not sacrifice stamina up and just get a pistol where you can run around at a million mile per hour going crazy with pistols like I, seriously you have to give this a go guys this was by far one of the funnest things I did because I hate the death and taxes I really hate the whole Mustang and Sally thing um, when it comes to like round 30s things like that plus it just makes a ton of crawlers which get in your way and even as you notice with the Panzers it would have been more effective to have a shotgun to be honest but with that danger close this was so much fun to do 
Um, I've also got the Panzer helmet, just to warn you. But as far as I know, the Panzer, hel the Panzer helmet isn't fixed at the moment. So I recently saw a video, um, I'll put a link in the description below if I can find it again, I can't remember his name. Um, but basically saying that the Panzer helmet had been fixed in an update and what this did was stop the flames affecting you. So you'd be within range for the flames to appear on your screen but they wouldn't, they'd just, you'd, you'd see it in your face but they wouldn't actually be affecting you. And that's a brilliant, like you can get one on one with panzers up close and personal and just have to worry about them punching you. Like that, that sounds like a great idea to me but I, I've got the panzer helmet as you can see, those flames are still affecting me so yeah, um, I, I had to keep my distance on this one, wasted my time getting to like the late 20s getting panzer kills with the claws and all that set up. But yeah, also obviously with your monkey bombs, when you're killing the panzers, that is going to be such a useful thing. Uh, just throw a monkey bomb, get your skeletons out of the way, and you can get in personal with your panzers, go crazy at them with your danger close. And it is so good because danger close lasts for three entire rounds. Now, you don't go through any rounds if you're in this boss room, so you have infinite well, danger close, as long as you are in this boss room. So, it, look, I'm just getting in close and personal. It was so much fun doing this. Um, if you want me to do any more challenges like this, guys, please just let me know. Um, they probably won't all be as long as this video, because this video does have to be quite long, because obviously it's a massive boss fight, and I want to show you every single bit of it, um, just so that you know I haven't cheated in any way, I haven't edited out any little clip -its. Now what you're going to see now is I've actually run out of ammo. Now this is the bit, a pole is actually going to appear in the top right corner of the screen and I want you to tell me if this was acceptable or not. So I have almost run out of ammo as you can see. The Mustang and Sally's were good, uh, well the Death and Taxes were good but I'm running out of ammo. Now I could have pulled out my DG2s but you know what, I didn't want to spend ages charging them up again. So. I thought maybe I should stab him and then I thought actually you guys don't want to sit here for 20 minutes to half an hour watching me stab some panzers. So I tried my trip mine, see if that might finish one of them off and get me maybe a max ammo or something. And then I thought you know what, for the sake of the video, let's just quickly kill him with these arrows and look as you can see I was stabbing him but you don't want to sit here for half an hour watching me stab it do you? Please tell me you don't because that would take me ages and it would take ages to upload it as well. But I thought, you know what, screw it, let's just get out of this bow, quickly finish him off. We've proven it, it, this system works anyway, let's just kill him, get it over and done with. But yeah, so, I finished them up, nice and simple, and that is the only time I used the arrow, the entire time. Um, some people say it's acceptable, some people say it's don't. Personally, I'd say it's not really, um, but as I said, vote for yourself on that little pole in the top right corner. But yeah, carrying on, as you can see, this isn't no problem, my shield just broke. I was a bit like, uh, maybe I should have killed those six dogs chasing me, that might have been handy. They all hit me at once, I'm instantly dead. Yeah, that's great. <laughs> Make sure you kill the dogs, guys. Um, but yeah, moving on. We, we're pretty much on the final step now. and. As I said guys, this was so much fun to do. I really advise uh, doing this, even if you're not the best Zombies player, because as you can see, I'm having a lot of fun, and it's quite easy. I, I just got pinned for a second, fired my death and taxes, I'm unpinned. Uh, it, it really is useful, but make sure you've obviously got a dead wire or a blast furnace weapon so you can do those circles if you don't kill the boss on the first go. Now what I noticed this time, um, is the boss on the final go actually takes more damage to kill so usually it was like one and a half worth of ammo of the death and taxes but now it took like two and a couple bullets as you can see like my the, oh three and a couple bullets the last bullet like boom there we go just finishes him off there but yeah remember to pick up the dg2s <laughs> But yeah, that's pretty much it guys. If there's any challenges you do want me to do, please put them in the video below. Uh, in the video? In the comments below. Um, because I really want to do a lot more of these challenges, but I am so focused on the moment at catching up with all these tutorials. Like, I still have some Shadows of Evil tutorials for you guys that I'm going to be uploading. 
I just haven't uploaded them yet because I've been getting a compilation of every single different scenario that will happen when you do that easter egg. Say the Gobblegum easter egg on Shadows of Evil. I've got a compilation of nearly every single Gobblegum that you can get from it. And I'm not just telling you, you can get this. So yeah, keep an eye out for those videos guys. But I'm going to leave you to the rest of it because I I've completed it now. That that's the video, but I'm going to show you the remainder of the easter egg and not the full cutscene you can go watch that on one of my other main easter egg boss room challenges or fights tutorials whatever they are but yeah just like subscribe have an awesome day enjoy the video comment below your future challenges He's still alive. I fucking hope so.